John Engler is on the defensive, fighting to keep his job at MSU as survivors, faculty members, and students call for his removal. On the same day, two board members tried to terminate him over recent remarks. Engler faced questions from 7 investigator Ross Jones. And Ross is here right now with that big interview. Ross. Carolyn Dave, good evening. John Engler was brought in to put out the fires at Michigan State, but since he arrived, those fires have only gotten bigger. And as we saw today in East Lansing, he's a big reason why. That was a private email written back in April, right in the middle of all these tensions, and I, I was completely frustrated. John Engler's words nearly cost him his job at Michigan State, and tonight he faced questions over what he wrote in an email that Nassar survivor Rachel Den Hollander may have received kickbacks from her attorneys suing Michigan State. The first question, why did it take so long to say sorry? The kickback email was revealed on uh, June 13th. You didn't issue an apology until eight days later. What on earth took so long? Well, I was down in Texas, and frankly, I wasn't spending very much time talking to the office. You know, it took a while. I got back here on campus, getting ready for the meeting. It was very you had clear. to hear this was a pretty big controversy on day one. Engler said his priorities were with his wife as they built a new home down south. I was in Texas, and one of the things that you do when you're working with your wife and you haven't seen her for a while and you're working on a home you're building, you pay attention. Engler said he should be judged not by his words, but by his actions. And while some survivors today said they appreciate the strides made under his leadership, they don't trust that he's on their side. I wanted so badly to be fighting with you, alongside you, for change with my fellow survivors, not against you, but you were fighting the wrong fight. On your first day here, you said that you would treat the survivors as if they were your own daughters. Uh, the survivors were very clear today. They say that, that they have felt belittled, uh, they have felt disrespected, they have felt intimidated by you. With all due respect, sir, why are you still here? Well, first of all, uh, when I said that, I meant that, and I've tried to conduct myself in that way. And by addressing the litigation and getting that settlement, by addressing the problems that we had at the medical school, which now been addressed, so that there never could be a repeat of Nasser, by addressing how we handled sexual assault on this campus, and now seeing more people being willing to come forward. These are the things that everybody believes need to be done. And uh, that's also not believe part of the litigation. You but a lot of them also believe one of those things is you should be gone. Well, and they thought the previous president should be gone. They thought the board of trustees should be gone. They thought the provost should be gone. And they and still they, think they, that. They do. They think a lot of people should be gone, but okay. nobody's going anywhere. Everybody's staying here. And unless things change, John Engler could be staying at Michigan State for quite a while longer. While school officials say they are eager to start interviewing permanent replacements, one trustee said today they're hoping to hire a new president by the spring. That means John Engler could be at MSU for about another year, Carolyn. Wow, uh, pretty amazing, especially him uh, talking about the priority being at home with his wife. Indeed. I wonder what those survivors will say. Thank you so much, Ross.